Hello there, ladies and gents, and welcome to Hell's Kitchen 0 0.85. Quick rundown. Just going to go through all the new things quickly. Just also, this is the first time I've seen them. I don't know if any of you watched the community event where the streamers and YouTubers got to play with it a little bit. I did. I watched the full thing. So I kind of basically roughly know how all of this works and all of the new things. But I thought I would also go through it as well, uh, just to show you guys, who, for those who haven't seen it. Plus, it also gives me hands-on experience first time as well. So, straight away, I know there's a lot of things, and I've set up a nice, nice little workbench here to go through all the things. And obviously, there are other things which we can't be seen. First of all, because... It has been completely reworked, as most of you already know. And I'll also put a link to the patch notes as well in the description, so you can check out the full patch notes of how everything works. But first of all, let's just start off with the hunting. Now, animals do not spawn on the map all of the time, or at all, really, currently. So there are no current animals spawned on the map. What happens is you get an audio cue, and as I was setting this up, I heard quite a few. You will get an audio cue from a direction, northeast, south, or west, basically. And it will be the audio cue of that animal. So horse, goat, chicken, bear, whatever. You then need to follow that cue in whatever direction it came from in your focus mode. So you hold down the uh, left mouse button in your focus mode. And what will happen is like... Previously, you'll get the little blue highlighted area with some footprints sort of smoking off of it. And it will either be droppings or it might be a footprint track, something like that. And then what we'll do, once you examine that, it will then give you a direction, directional information, which way the animal was heading. So it could say, um, the animal went south. So that doesn't mean it... It doesn't mean that it directly went south. What it means is it went in a cone shape from uh, southeast and southwest. So it's kind of a big area to search in. It is a little bit rough, and a lot of people I've seen who were using it and testing it, some were successful, some were not. It is a little bit weird. Um... And I will play around with it properly in my series because I think it needs quite a bit of time spending on it, tracking it and doing everything like that. And uh, like I said, this is just a quick rundown video, so I don't want to spend too long in it. But once you get the blue audio, once you get the audio cue, follow that direction. You then get the blue tracking clue like it used to be. You then head in the direction that it's supposed to, that it shows you. Then you will get another audio cue. So that's the second audio cue. So you then follow that in that direction. And then you should get one final um, blue tracking clue. Follow it again. And then hopefully that should lead you to the animal which will spawn. But you need to do those three things in order for the code to generate and spawn the animal. So if you see the or if you hear the audio clue, you follow it, but you don't find the blue tracking clue after a certain while, x amount of minutes, I don't know. Uh, the animal, you you won't hear the rest of the clues. You you won't see or hear any more of the clues. It will be gone as if you ignored it. It will it will be gone. So it is a little bit rough, and I have seen people say that it is a little bit rough and a little bit tricky, and it may need ironing out a little bit let's put it that way but that's for the true hunters in you now and it's kind of nice if you've ever played call of the wild it's kind of cool tracking and hunting and you know doing all that kind of stuff so i do like it the new hunting system i think it is cool but it does need ironing out just a little bit i think especially with the audio cues because most people were complaining that you would hear the audio clue from this direction so you'd run over there You'd find the tracking thing, and it would say the animal headed north. So you continue to head north, 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 and then all of a sudden, 
the next audio cue will be behind you. So you have to go all the way back where you just came from. You know, it's like the animal is sort of going up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, it's it's a little bit, needs to be a bit smoother in how the animal traveled. Do you know what I mean? So, but we'll get more into that in one of the single player episodes. Um, fully, I'll try and do a full hunt and see if it works. So that's the hunting. Second thing, and probably the best thing, are these two beauties. We have the RPG. We have the uh, AT4. Two variants of them. The heat and the um, high explosive. Oh, I can't remember what it stands for. Where is it? High explosive dual purpose. There we go. Couldn't remember then off the top of my head. So these two are going to cause some damage. Well, these three actually are going to cause some damage. Let's start with the AT4. These are one-time use. So you use them once, and then you can just throw them away. And there it is. Uh, now you do have to get this ready somehow by pressing R. There you go. Now it's ready to fire. Let's just step back a bit here. I don't want to hurt myself. Let's see what it does. Yep. There's quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. Blew the wheels off. Oh, hang on. Get rid of them. I don't want them chasing me. It did quite a bit of damage. 41%. Blew two wheels off. Blew all four wheels off. So these are going to be, you know, fairly decent. But you can only use it the once, which, and then it's discarded. So now let's take the heat. See what that does. But for base raiding, these things are going to be mental. Oh, she's on fire. She's going to blow. Better stand back from that. I don't want her to hurt me. So basically two of these and a vehicle is done. I don't know what it would do to concrete walls, reinforced walls and stuff like that. I'm assuming quite a lot of damage. I'm assuming quite a lot of damage. Actually, we can test it. Why not? I've got God Mode on. Um, I just don't want that car to hurt me. So if we just uh, very quickly build a wall... Always do that. Right, well, I'm assuming that, you know, it's going to go straight through that. Upgrade. Oh, I can't. I haven't got enough. Okay, so that's a metal wall. That's a metal wall. Let's get out of that stance. And let's get another one. Get a heat, and let's see what it does to this. So what are we at now? We are at um, 1325. So let's see what this does. I'm assuming quite a bit. Oh, okay. Okay, that didn't knock it down too much. I was expecting a big chunk of that to be gone. I was expecting that a big chunk to be gone. But let's try the other one then. I have to say. Maybe it also depends on how close you are. What did that do? No, okay. Right. It's going to take a few of those. Okay, so that's the two new AT4s, the two variants, one-time use, awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Now we come to the RPG, the OG, the big boy, the one everybody knows. Two types of warhead. Warhead. You've got the, um, 
Uh, heat again, high explosive anti-tank round, and you've got the uh, fragmented round as well. And this one, as you can clearly see, is reusable. And if we just have a look, the way he loads it in is lovely. So this one you want to keep. You don't want to throw this one away. What does that do? Ooh, that did a lot more damage. Okay, there you go. That's the one you want then. That did big boy damage, that did. And now then let's just chamber this one as well. Ooh, the nice little slide as well as the metal goes in. Beautiful. And... Okay, that didn't do too much. But the other one did a lot of damage. Um... There we go. What I just want to check. I just want to see something for myself. Does it leave a smoke trail? That does look nice. Uh, this might be a bit dangerous, so let's do it over here. No, it doesn't leave a smoke trail. Okay. I wonder if it will come down. Oh well, at least it's gone that way. I just thought maybe it would leave a smoke trail going up. But it doesn't. And it's gone. Shot into space. Okay, so they are the two new launchers, which they can be used against the mechs, they can be used against pretty much everything, and they look amazing. They have detail on them is so good, especially these two. Seriously good. Right, moving on. Next item, tear gas grenade. Which does exactly what it says on the kin uh, on the tin. It's tear gas, and it does affect. I can show you. We run in. You can see tear gas exposure. Your eyes go blurry vision, and you can't run when you're if you have no gas mask. I'm assuming you can't run. I'm trying to run and I can't run. I'm just walking. You've got blurred vision, disorientation, bloodshot eye, double vision. So, yeah, you want to watch out for that one. That's going to be that's going to become a silent. I'm not going to say killer, but that that's going to become very very useful, especially if you're base raiding. But if we do the same again, uh, whoops. Let me just get one in. And also a gas mask. There we go. Uh, if we just equip the gas mask. Do that again. Lob that over there. Now that i got the gas mask on, I can run. And it doesn't give me any effect. It's a very thin plume of smoke, though. It's the only thing I would say. Maybe it'd be a bit thicker and maybe a bit greener or yellower, you know? Kind of mustard colour. But that's the tear gas. Again, like I said, I think that's going to become quite a useful... useful little back pocket thing, that is. Let me get this off. So, gas masks are going to have more use now than just the kill box. Next, we have the Kruger. The little... Uh, oh, I didn't load it. The little point twenty two pistol. Let's just load these in. Which, you know, it's point twenty two, Not the most powerful... Um, not the most powerful thing in the world. It can hold ten rounds, though. So it can get you out of a bit of trouble if you need... If you're in it, you know. Load it up. Not shoot the gas can. See what this sounds like. Uh oh. Oh, he's back in the building again. There we go. That's quite nice, actually. That's quite nice. I quite like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Again, 
not the most powerful thing in the world, but it will get you out of trouble if you need it. Next one is the BCU lock. Now, I don't actually know if this works on single player. Uh, why can I not lock this door? Mm, strange. Ah, oh, there we go. Can I put it on there? No. Yeah, I didn't think it works on single player. Uh, the BCU lock only works in squads on multiplayer. Um, so, basically for my single player series, that's a bit pointless. But it's an extra level of protection now for squads on multiplayer. And basically your BCU is connected, BCU lock is connected to you. And the only way someone can unlock it is by killing you and taking your BCU to your base and then they can use your BCU to unlock the BCU lock. That's basically how it works. But then in squads as well, you can also share the code, I think, uh, of how to get in. Or if you're in four people in a squad, this BCU will recognize those four people and still allow you in and out of the base. So that's how that works. On to the big one. Cooking. Cooking and fridges and generators. So, lots of new recipe books, which you now need to find scattered around the world. You've got casserole, rice, pasta, drinks, barbecue, soups, stews, pizza, and cakes. And then you have the electric hob, the gas stove, which we already know that's been there. You have got a large generator, 500 watts, and a little baby generator of 250 watts. So they're the two generators. You get a portable fridge, which... Not bad for storing food in, you know, cooked meat and all of your cooked stuff. You need to store it in a fridge. But then also, not only do you have that portable stuff, these appliances now work. See? Open refrigerator, massive fridge space, and the cooker also works as well. Uh, so, base building's going to be, you know, you got to make a decision now. Do you want something like this with a big fridge and a cooker and all that kind of stuff? Or do you want the portable stuff? I suppose you could get four of these and it's the same as that. But there's no portable oven. That's the thing. Not yet, anyway. And I don't think the cookable items in the oven will be cookable on this. But we can try it. We can test it. So what you do, get a gas can. I mean, I didn't need to move it, but, you know, once you get a gas can. Also, these are reusable. You can fill them up from the propane tanks at petrol stations or other locations. I think there's some in the uh, in the in the train yard, and I also think there is some at the airfield as well, if I remember correctly. Might be wrong about that one, but you can fill these up so they are reusable. Generators take fuel, obviously, but what you can do is uh, show range. There you go. So that is the radius, not massive. That is the radius of the gas can. But then you should be able to fill with gas propane. Yes, turn on. No energy source. Um, why? Oh, because I need to... F hang on. There we go. Now it's on. And now we should be able to turn it on. And then here's your cooking. So, recipes. This is all the things you can cook. But what I want to try... Just out of curiosity, for example, bread that you need an oven for. So these are all the things that you need. It gives you the time in minutes and the degrees. So you need flour, milk, water, baking soda, yeast, uh, times two baking soda. And then optional ingredients if you wish to add some salt and animal fat and some sugar. So that's what we need. We need flour, milk, water, baking soda, yeast. And we also need a cooking pot as well, which I forgot about. So let me just get one of them in. Dawn item. Uh, uh, where is cooking pot? There is cooking pot. So you place cooking pot on oven. And it snaps too as well, which is nice. See? Snaps across, which is nice. I don't think you're going to be able to cook. So we need flour, milk, water, baking soda, yeast. Right, 
we got the ingredients. Uh, it also you need to take it from your thing. So let's just get a backpack and equip that. Yeah, it doesn't work outside. You need it in the, in your backpack. So can we? No, we can't. Why not? Why not? I think, I think it is because you need to do it in the oven. I'm pretty sure, but let's test. So the oven is electric. Um, stoves run on gas, oven works on electric. Let's uh, turn that on. Show range. I uh, can't see the, oh, there we go. Well, that's got a big range, holy hell. Okay, I think they need to fix that a little bit. And now, yes, oven, there we go. Uh, um, ah, but I left my recipes downstairs. Hang on a minute, I've got to go and get my recipes again. All right, let's just load these up. So you can't cook without these books. You need the recipe book. Wow, that is massive. That range. Hmm. I think that maybe needs adjusting just a touch. Right. Now. Recipes. We want bread. No. Flour? Why does this not work? What am I doing wrong here? Mm. Oven. Bread. Ah, there we go. So you need to select, okay, select the oven or the gas ring, whichever you want. Right. Bread. Wheat. Oh, I forgot the milk. Baking soda. Yeast. And I also need milk. Milk. There we go. So now, uh, It is a bit annoying that it doesn't remember it each time, I have to say. That is a wee bit of an annoying thing, but who knows, they may change that in the future. Alright, once you get the little hat, ding ding, there you go. We is cooking. And there it is, look. There's my loaf of bread. Cooking. Let me try that now on this, and I don't think it will work. Cooking pot. Yeah, it's only a pot. Yeah, you can't do it. See? Only in the... Okay. So certain things need ovens. So I'm guessing pizza is going to need the oven. Yes, it is. And th certain things need pots. Well, let me turn that off because that's really annoying. And I think that range is a wee bit too big. There we go. Also, you must remember to turn these on and off. What I do like is that's... Nice and quiet. It's not too loud. I was worried that that was going to be proper loud, but it's not. It's nice and quiet. So if we then check... Um, there we go. 168 minutes. It's going to take... And you've got a countdown timer. It's going to take a long, long time. But... I suppose I could wait for it to be done. And then again, the same thing, just with a bigger Jenny. A much bigger Jenny, in fact. Pop that there. I uh, wonder if the range... Oh, yeah, there, look. See, that's big, big range, that is. Really big range. Funny how that one is massive. And that one is Tichy. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. But then... Uh, oh, you can name your fridge as well, if you want to give your fridge a name. And obviously it's portable, so you can put them in your base. Basically. Right. That's that lot. Let's take this. And let's go and see the new addition. Right. We all know where we are. Uh, let me just... Get one of these as it is bigger and now we need uh, 
some of these. How big? Okay, they're not too bad. I can get a few more. Get a few more of those. Right. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Chamber that up. Right, where is he? Go and find them. Should be here somewhere. Why are they not? Uh, or is this the server where the sentries... No, there he is. I can see him. Look, I can see him. I can see him. The new sentries. Sentries 2.0. They're no longer bumblebees. But they're iron hides. That's what they look like to me anyway. Kind of like Ironhide, after he's transformed. Right, let's get a bit closer. I don't want to get too close. Ooh, what will be interesting is if they have changed the bush. I wonder if they can still see you in... I wonder if they still miss you in bushes, or if they can still see you. Well, I'm in a bush... There he is. There's old... Old Ironhide. Let me just... Get rid of the zombies in the area. Can they still see you in a bush? I have no idea. Oh, they've got new sounds. Okay, that's the new weapon. That is the new weapon. But, I also have a new weapon for him. And I think I read somewhere, it takes 9 to 12 of these to take it down. Oh, they throw gas, I forgot. Oh, shit. Okay, they still... They still have that. <laughs> but I want to try and take him out because they drop stuff. Now, they actually drop stuff. Let's just go straight back there. Yeah, they do tear gas, or frag grenades. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's the uh, animal cue I was telling you about. That was a chicken, for anyone that didn't know. That was a chicken. Get rid of that. But yeah, you now actually, you, you do actually want to destroy the sentries, because they drop... Frag grenades, they drop C4 components, and also, according to the patch notes, they drop two new items. And there isn't anything in the patch notes to say what those items are. So, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what they are, really. Right, now we're ready. Quite a few shells, 12 shells, in fact. Warheads. A couple of Phoenix Tears this time, so hopefully I won't get annihilated. And I just want to see if we can take him out quickly and see what he has to offer. Oh. Oh, finally, he went down. I can tell you, that took a lot more than between 9 and 12. That was closer to 15. 15, 16 rockets that took. But it's finally down. Right. Let's see what he drops. Tear gas, tear gas, keypad, BCU lock, and some nades. Well, there you have it. But thanks very much for watching. 
if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all on the single player series on 0 0.85 very soon.